We do have unfortunately some severe thunderstorms on the way today. Let's take a look at what we have going on right now. We do have showers and thunderstorms rolling through. These are not the severe storms. This is the first of about three rounds that will roll through today. So we've had, of course, a lot of lightning, a lot of rumbles of thunder, about a third of an inch of rain, and we still have more showers and a few more thunderstorms expected before this entire area works its way off to the northeast. But it's part of this big storm system we've been talking about that's continuing to develop. The center of the storm is still out towards Nebraska, and that's what's going to move towards us quickly and bring us a chance for some of the severe storms. It's the storms will be developing along a cold front that right now doesn't have anything really associated with it. But as this all continues to work its way to the east northeast, we will see thunderstorms develop along it and a few that could be severe. Definitely going to see strong storms later today, but if you get into that threshold of winds in excess of 58 miles per hour, hail an inch in diameter and isolated tornadoes are possible within our state. Better chance will be just off to the west, but we still have a chance here in our area. So again, let's start this morning. We're getting through their area of showers and thunderstorms. Now that moves off to the east by eight o'clock. Just some isolated rain showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but through most of the morning, we're fairly quiet. We will just have just a few showers, just a few thunderstorms rolling through, but then things start to pick up again as we head into the afternoon and especially the evening by six o'clock, starting to get a nice line developing here just off to the west. That will continue to work its way towards the east by seven o'clock. It is here by the lakefront. Heavy rain, gusty winds, hail possible with this line, and then we're looking at another line developing just a little bit farther off to the west. By 8 o'clock, you can see more of that. These would be the storms that have the potential to produce some isolated tornadoes, mainly just off to the west. But again, we could see things hold together farther to the east. As we get to 9 p.m., still looking at heavy rain, strong storms in the area, and then eventually by 10 and 11 o'clock tonight, things start to push off to the east, and we'll head into tonight with actually fairly quiet conditions until some snow. Yes, yeah, still expected to wrap around by early tomorrow morning. So we do have an active about 24 hours ahead of us. A lot of clouds, a few more showers throughout the day. Again, once we get through this batch this morning and then the thunderstorms increase as we head through this evening. Take a look at those temperatures. We're right now in the low 40s. We're going for the low 60s later today. Very unusual for this time of year, and that's why we are going to see these thunderstorms, these warmer temperatures, all of this moisture. That is all fuel to fuel these stronger storms. Once we get through this weather, we have some snow tomorrow morning and then kind of mellowing out at least into your Sunday. Temperatures are back into the 50s into next week. Adriana. All right. Thanks, Marissa.